Uh, my number one bait for fishing deep, ledges, trash piles, anything to get bit on is a Big Bite Baits. I use a lot of their stuff. Um, a half ounce shaky head. It's the perfect size. You can feel it. The biggest thing on fishing deep to me is, especially trash piles, is keeping that bait down there on the bottom and constantly filling that trash because the more you're in that trash the more you're going to get bit and a half ounce is perfect for that so the uh, trick worm I like to use is big bite baits it is a, a green pumpkin in Texas red it's an 8 inch finesse worm and this worm was actually designed for Lake Eufaula and I'm telling you it's killer out there deep so uh, what I do is because I'm going to show you all tomorrow. But find where your trash is, throw past it, let it sink down, give it plenty of time to get to the bottom, and just I just slowly drag it to the trash and jig it, just like you would fish your regular shaky head. And like I say, the key to having to get bit on this is just keeping it in that trash as long as you can. And I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. So after I fished a trash pile or fished a ledge for a little while, and they've seen that trick worm, my, one of my big go-to baits for getting a big bite is a jig. This is just a regular uh, strike zone. It's a green pumpkin with some black, just a real natural color, half ounce football jig. And I do my trailer the same way as I do my swim jig. Got the crawfish with the claws coloring that chartreuse. Like I say, to me, half ounce has gotta be the best size weight for fishing deep because it's not too much where it don't get hung up in the trash, but it's just perfect where it breaks through. So definitely, after you fish the trash pile for a little while and you got you a good limit and you want to try to get a big bite, for sure it'll be a half ounce football jig. And maybe tomorrow I can show you how to catch one on that too. So the three main baits that I like to fish with deep is the half ounce shaky head, the half ounce football jig. But by far for getting bit, it's got to be a 10 inch worm. And I use a few different colors. They're all made by Strike Zone. But the first one I'm going to show y'all is a 10 inch worm curly tail blue and black real good to get bit on another color i like to use is plum blue flake now when i'm fishing them i'll throw one five or six casts when i know i'm getting in the trash and i'll just swap it up because bass they've changed day to day on what they like but most of the time if they're in there and they're wanting to eat they'll eat whatever you got but this is a plum blue flake made by strike zone a little different design this one is a watermelon red real good natural color love to use that one and like I showed y'all my other one the blue and black curly tail is hard to beat too and I fish it when I'm fishing a worm a 10 inch worm in a trash pile you get it down there on the bottom get in the trash and I just barely drag it because in the summertime when that water gets hot bass almost get lethargic and they they don't want to waste energy on a small bait so you know some people think well they're getting pressured i'm going to downsize my bait technically that's not always the case because a bass is laying down there like they're almost in hibernation kind of because the water temperature is hot and it's just a tough time of the year well they want a big bait but they don't use much energy biting it so they can just them 10 inch worms are perfect it's, effortlessly they'll just eat it and they ain't got to put much energy out and uh it's just a perfect bait to use for summertime deep trash pile fishing A big one.
The arsenal is still shallow. Me and Blake are out here. I'll show y'all what I call a good trash pile. All right. So obviously that's you got your bass in here laying under. Let me zoom in. To me, what makes this good too is it's isolated. See, that's bass right there. It's isolated. We're in 23 foot of water, and nothing is around this. It's just nothing. It's just like a kind of a shale bed and uh, just a random trash pile. And we pulled up here earlier and caught two off of it. Blake caught a good one. So we're going to pull back over and see if we can't catch another one. Right here coming. Got him. Big one. I got to catch one, damn it. <laughs> Got a boat coming. Put him in live real quick. <laughs> oh, here you be, dog. Damn, so is. 